uh, welcome to my channel front end source code so today we are going to uh, pass data from one screen to another screen and uh, how to debug our uh, react native project that's we are going to uh, do today so let's uh, start uh, uh, passing the data from one screen to another screen through routes so uh, uh, yesterday we have completed otp screen so you can go there yes so this is our otp screen uh, what we have uh, completed so we are going to pass a mobile number from one screen to another screen uh, uh, we are going to pass a mobile number from registration screen to otp screen okay so uh, in our registration screen we are going to <coughs> pass a mobile number right so uh, first uh, we are going to uh, pass the object of mobile number uh, phone or mobile uh, this is the key and this is the value uh, so we are going to pass mobile number so this is the mobile number we are going to pass so mobile in our mobile we have store our mobile number right so we are going to pass this uh, mobile to uh, otp screen means uh, this screen so in otp screen we have to receive the data from the uh, uh, props and we have to show that uh, data so let's uh, here i am going to show you um, how to show uh, that um, value. okay uh, from winnipeg we don't know um, how to pass the data uh, so we are sending uh, phone number from otp screen but we have to pass uh, this data okay let's uh, do one thing let's i'm <coughs> showing the alert uh, so in that alert i'm going to show you so uh, this is an object right uh, uh, this uh, this is an object and whole props is an object so we are going to pass like um, uh, json okay json dot stringify okay means it will uh, 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 change that object to string right so this dot props okay so i'm going to uh, string uh, stringify this dot props then i can get the one by one um, data from that props okay let's save this uh, okay save all okay then uh, let's uh, go to our screen here okay. uh, let's uh, back okay i am going to pass this mobile number to otip screen so when i click on the registration then it will take me to here right when i click on verify otp then it will show me the uh, dialog okay um, okay sorry uh, okay sorry i missed here this dot okay uh, so here okay so when i click on this uh, verify property then it is showing me uh, navigation dot routes okay so uh, let's parse this route okay uh, so i'm going to parse this route props uh, dot route okay so here i'm i have to see that uh, what is route okay so this is key this is props and this is params right so let's uh, uh, pass the params here yes. okay then check okay uh, what is inside that params so you can see that phone number uh, that we have uh, sent from uh, the registration screen we can receive it in, in the uh, otp screen right so i'm going to pass dot phone right then we can see uh, we can see the number what we have entered in our uh, registration screen we uh, get this in uh, otp screen okay so uh, what i'll do we can uh, store in our states otherwise we can directly uh, pass this phone number here only so please enter verification code sent to your mobile number okay type in uh, i'm going to add like this right Okay, so you can see the mobile number in our phone. Okay, then you can see. So uh, here is the mobile number. What we have um, ended, right? 
okay let's uh, i think it's done uh, from our side uh, that uh, uh, sending data from one screen to another screen so uh, let's uh, start a debugging our react native project right so how we can debug our react native project and uh, how to um, check uh, how it's working or not okay let's uh, yes i'm going to uh, create a uh, component did mount right component sorry. component did mount okay inside that component did mount i'm going to pass console then uh, console dot log okay uh, okay console dot log this dot props dot param dot phone right so here i'm getting the data right so let's um, debug this uh, how we can debug uh, this one here also i can uh, debug this one also console dot log console dot log means console dot log console dot log means i am going to uh, show this uh, value in my console console means uh, in my uh, console area that is uh, in um, uh, web browser or google chrome so so let's uh, how we can debug uh, this project so uh, press control m okay then it will show a dialog here it is a debug is there so click on the debug then it will uh, open our uh, default browser maybe uh, for me it's uh, google chrome okay uh, so when we inspect or f12 okay you can uh, see or control z so uh, f12 okay then you can see our console is here so uh, all errors are um, all uh, warnings you can see in this console so uh, let's uh, check console first okay okay uh, so clear this i'm going to show this okay uh, so click on the registration okay so i'm passing test okay mobile number is 09876543321 Okay, uh, then password is password sswrt so let's check uh, when i click on the registration then you can see okay it needs uh, debug mode okay so in the console you can see the mobile number what we have printed in console.log right okay, so okay so uh, how we can uh, add the debugger right you yeah, go to the source code okay in the source there is a debugging option is there so in uh, in here what we will do you control p okay control p to open the file right so i am going to type otp screen right otp then it will show me otp screen otp screen Okay, you can see uh, it's showing me a uh, OTP screen. Okay. All codes are here. So I add, click on this, then you can get the uh, debugging uh, options, right? So just click means it's a breakpoint. So it will uh, when we run, then it will come here and it will pause here. Right? Let's um, I have a back, back button. passing the data okay when i click on the registration then you can see the debugger comes here right so when you hover the uh, each uh, of the each then you can get a, a one one of object right so you can see params is there key is there right then click on this then you can get the params phone okay then click on this so you can see just hover on hover it will show you the whole object and this is the phone okay you can see this is the phone same when after uh, means uh, component did mount after loading our component component did mount loads right then uh, how to pass this uh, debugger then here i can pass click on this then it will pass 
so when i click on this verify otp so you can see another debugger point is here right so it is showing me json dot stringify this dot props dot routes okay dot props dot routes params and phone right so another thing is there how we can uh, check right another point is here in watch you can uh, same thing you can do in watch so i can see uh, this dot so this dot props right dot props okay this is undefined okay uh, this dot props dot route you pass here okay let me check this dot 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 okay this dot props dot arrow dot okay uh, i think then it's not available okay maybe it's uh, not uh, fetching the data from uh, props right uh, okay but here uh, in watch uh, in uh, react uh, js we can uh, get the data uh, okay okay here uh, in watch it's not uh, showing uh, this dot props but you can uh, debug here only okay for react native maybe it's not uh, showing not working okay uh, here you can press uh, okay here you can pass here you can just pass here so how this is the debugging of our uh, uh, react native project so you can debug anywhere uh, maybe if you want to debug our uh, code then control p uh, go to the um, uh, registration screen register okay. uh, register okay registration screen okay here so here i want to see this uh, my logic is working or not okay how it's working so i make the debugger point okay let's um, start it from there okay, uh, okay make uh, go to the back 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 okay from here i'm going to registration screen okay so I enter test okay then mobile number mobile sorry uh, 0987654321 then password PSSWRD password when I click on the register then okay so it comes to here directly because uh, every condition satisfied right so uh, let me pass this okay pass this okay then uh, I go to back Okay, let's uh, back to uh, registration screen. Okay, uh, then we need to test our uh, logics, right? So I'll uh, remove this one and uh, this one also, and this one also. Okay, then click on the registration. Then it is showing comes here means name is uh, uh, blank and name dot length less than three so let's check it's a true or false then select this one then you can see this is false zero okay so uh, then i'll make this uh, okay pass it here so here i'll put tst test right so uh, let's register you can see it's come to uh, means this condition passed right then mobile is blank then mobile dot length Okay, mobile dot length is zero so it comes to here right so so i'll pass this and i'll add 9876543321 so i put a nine digit to check 10 digit is working or not then you can see the debugger comes again because this is the nine and this is the false statement right so you can see uh, so i can add uh, one more digit that is zero and uh, this is uh, password so similarly we can see password 
will be take the uh, time okay let's uh, have a okay you can see this password then it will come to here password point right let's uh, pass this one uh, add password password so you can see okay now every condition satisfied then it come to the else point then we are going to otp screen right then you move to here then you can see you can go to otp point and uh, component did mounts okay right okay yeah okay thank you guys please uh, like share and subscribe my channel thank you